Welcome to seven, part seven, division of a decimal by a two digit decimal. So I've got a decimal in my divisor, sorry, a decimal in my dividend and a decimal in my divisor. So just like when I divided decimals, or just like when I went from whole numbers to decimals, okay, in the dividend, now when I go to whole numbers to decimals in the divisor, I'm just adding an extra step, okay? So we think about regular division, I'm adding two extra steps to that. So first thing I need to do, extra first step, is that I need to take this decimal point and move it one place to the right, okay? Also known as multiplying by 10. So now I have to treat others as they want to be treated. Since I moved that decimal point over one, I got to move this one over one. So I multiplied my dividend by 10 and I multiplied my divisor by 10, okay? Now, I'm going to erase those lines so they don't get in my way. Okay, so they don't get in my way. Okay. So, I'm, so those are my new decimal points. So as Paula Abdul told us, straight up. And that's what I do with it. So I can cross this off, cross this off. So again, what I'm going to do, same thing I did when I had double-digit divisors. List the first multiples. So that's 38, 42. 52, 56, 56, 70, 84, 94, 98, 108, 112. Notice I'm counting by 10 and adding 2. So 122, 126. So that's how I'm doing it in my head so quickly. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay. Now, let's group. What is the largest number less than 88? Well, 98 is larger, so I'm going to go back one. There's 84. So I'm going to put my 84 here, and I'm going to guess that's 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep, 6 groups. 6 groups. So then I'm going to subtract. Get 4. Bring down my three. All right, oh, 42. That's my number. So I'm going to subtract. Oh, got to put, forgot to put my number up here, and that was a three. I'm going to get one. When I subtract and I bring down my four, I'm going to group. How many groups? 14 fit into 14. One. Subtract. 14. Let's scroll down a little bit, and I get zero. So that was it, six and thirty-one hundredths. Six and thirty-one hundredths. So let's do one more together. Let's do one more together. I need a little more space than this. Okay. Remember, what's the first thing I have to do? Move my decimal point over. Okay. How many times did I move it? I moved it once. I moved it twice. So if I moved it twice here, how many times do I move it here? If you said twice, you're right. So once, twice. So there's my decimal point. Now, do I need to put it up here? Yeah, sure, you can. But you don't have to because it's at the end of the number, just like where it's, where it's supposed to be when we have regular whole numbers. So I need some help here. Okay, I can't add 84s together in my head. 84 plus 84 gives me 168. Two fifty-two. So you notice I'm hitting just hitting the equal sign. Three three six four two zero. So three three six four two zero. Five hundred four. Five hundred eighty-eight. Six seventy-two. 756. And I'm going to guess that's the last one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Yep, this is the first nine multiples. Now, I'm going to put a 0 here. I'm going to put a 0 here because 17 is less than 84. 176 isn't. So there's two groups because 252 is larger. So I got to go back here. So it's 160. Eight. So I'm going to subtract, 
and I'm going to borrow. That becomes a six. I get eight. Bring down the four. That's one group. Multiply. 84. So 84 hundredths divided by 17 and 64 hundredths is 21. You said it, 21. Now, I want you to scroll back up. I want you to give the video a pause, and I want you to try. I want you to try this one, but pause the video. I'm going to change the numbers, and then you can unpause it, okay? All right, sorry about that. So we have a new problem here. So we have 7 and 196 thousandths divided by 1 and 4 tenths. Now I've done you a nice favor by listing all of your, I've already listed all your multiples of 14. So all you got to do is come back here and, and copy them. But first things first, got to move the decimal point. So I moved it over one spot here. So that means I've got to move it over one spot here. So it's moved up. So I am going to make life easy on myself, just as just like you should. So I'm going to copy and paste those, and then we're going to move them down here. That way we don't have to recreate the wheel. We're going to work smarter, not harder. So what's the largest number less than 71? Oh, that's 70, so that would be 5. So I subtract, bring down the 9. There's the largest number less than 19 is 14, so that's 1. So I've grouped, I multiplied, 1 times 14 is 14. I subtract, last but not least, I bring down 56. So I'm looking for a 56 over here, something like, oop, there's 56 right there, and that would be four groups. So then I'm going to, after I've grouped it, so I'm going to multiply, I get 56, I'm going to subtract, bring down. Okay, all right, so turn the page or look to the bottom, and we'll do one more together, and then you've got two more to try on your own. So again, first thing I'm going to do, move my decimal point two, point, two spots over, Move my decimal pot spot two spots over. So there's my new decimal point right there. Okay. So I'm going to give the video a pause while I list my multiples of 28. Again, I'm going to use my calculator. So there are all my multiples. All right. Zero here, 27 still less. So I'm looking for two something less than 271. All the way down here. 252. We're going to subtract. Borrow, so I've got one, nine. I'm going to bring down my six. So looking, oop, there's 196 right there, which is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven groups. One, nine, six. I'm going to subtract. I get zero, and 2800, or sorry, 27 and 16 hundredths divided by 28 hundredths equals 97. So go ahead and give it the video a pause. I want you to try the two beneath. So here are the two problems. 35 and 19 hundredths divided by 5 and 1 tenths. I came up with uh, 6 and 9 tenths. And for 20, uh, yeah, 2 and 64 thousandths divided by 8 and 6 tenths, I got 24 hundredths. So let's take one last quick look at, just to make sure I'm on the right path. Well, what's 35 divided by 5? That's close to 7. Okay, it's, it's, it's 35 divided by 5, 7. 69 tenths is really close to 7. What is 2 divided by 8? Well, 2 eighths is 1 fourth, which is 25%, which is 25 hundredths. So I know I'm really close there. Okay, so that's my kind of my quick estimate to check in my head. So that is 7 division of decimals by a two-digit decimal.